this in this video i have a question from trigonometry the question is asking find all values of x in the interval of 0 to 2 5 that satisfy the equation and they have given the equation 2 cos square x plus plus 5 sin x minus 4 is equal to 0 first of all we have to solve this uh, solve this equation to find sin x or cos x first let's see what we can do I will write this question again 2 cos square x plus 5 sin x minus 4 is equal to 0 okay since we have this one in different forms like here we have cos square x here we have sin x so we can't really do anything about this because we can't factor anything when the when we have two different things so in order to solve this uh, first of all i have to change it into same format for example i can't change uh, i have to change everything in cos so i have to change everything in sine but in this case they have given go they have given the cos square x so from this one i can change everything into sine for example because uh, cos, i can replace cos square x by 1 minus sine square x therefore I am going to do that it's going to be 1 minus sine square x plus 5 sine x minus 4 is equal to 0 right then what I can do I can expand this one it's going to be 2 minus 2 sine square x plus 5 sine x minus 4 is equal to 0 since I have 2 here I can add this 2 with minus 4 it's going to become minus 2 so it's going to 2 minus 2 sine square x plus 5 sine x minus 2 is equal to 0 since we have so many minus signs here what I can do is I can simply uh, multiply everything by minus 1 if I do that I will get 2 sine square x because you know too many minus to get rid of this minus I multiply everything with minus so it will become plus but this will become minus minus 5 sine x then then this is going to become plus 2 and if I multiply 0 by minus it's still 0 therefore this is my Thing. now I can factor it so in order to factor I have to take this thing so 2 this 2 times 2 is going to be 4 therefore the answer uh, the factor thing should be when I multiply it should be plus 4 and when I add it should be negative 5 so the values can be if I multiply so if I add it should be negative 5 right mm so what I can do in this case what are the two like uh, let's see when I multiply I I had to get okay so yeah yeah it's possible because minus 4 minus 1 will work because if I add minus 4 and minus 1 it will become minus 5 if I multiply minus 4 and minus 1 it will become plus 4 therefore I can use that 2 sine square x minus 4 sine sine x minus 1 sine x plus 2 is equal to 0 now I can take uh, 2 sine common here 2 sine x common so if I, if I take 2 sine x common this is sine square x so it will become sine x and this will become 2 uh, it's, it will become minus 2 and if I take minus 1 common it will become sine x minus 2 which is equal to 0 now I can form two equations 2 sine x minus 1 is one equation and the other equation is 2 uh, sin x minus 2 right sin x 
minus 2 now if I find the sign for uh, this is of both i equal to 0 now I can equalize the both of them separately equal to 0 so this will become sine x is equal to 1 over 2 and this will become sine x o this will become sine x is equal to 2 but uh, you know already I think you know already the domain of sine x is between minus 1 and 1 always minus 1 1 1 because if you draw the graph it's just you know it just the bottom top is always plus 1 and the bottom is minus 1 therefore it, uh, this is not true because sine x can't be equal to 2 so this doesn't exist and this is the only solution we have here since sine is half and they have given the interval it's 0 to 2 phi so sine is positive in two intervals so all silver teacup right in this one sign is positive and in this one sign is positive too so we have to find when is sign is half uh, so first of all you know sign 30 is half so it's going to be 5 by 6 we know one value and same here it's going to be this 30 degree is going to be half but we have to subtract from 180 to find the total angle 180 minus 30 is 150 but if I write it in terms of phi value I had to deduct phi by phi minus phi by 6 so it's gonna be uh, 6 pi over 6 minus phi over 6 it's gonna be phi phi by 6 so these are the two values and this is my final answer so x well, finally we had to show x so they are asking all find all the x values so I, I saw x is equal to 5 by 6 comma 5 5 by 6 this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video see you next time